Hey guys, Dion Taylor here. So this video is actually about a preview feature that has been out for quite some time, early November of 2021 actually, but I haven't done a video on this yet. So that's why I'm doing it today. And this feature is going to change the way that we configure security, or I should say role-based security in Dynamics V65. So let's go ahead and take a look. Now let's talk about how role-based security works in Dynamics V65 today. So we can have one or multiple business units in the system, but they do need to be connected in a hierarchy like the one that you see on this slide. And then each business unit has their own security roles, which are copied down from the parent business unit. And these copied roles are called inherited security roles and inherited security roles cannot be modified. Now, as a side note, it is good to know that you can actually create new security roles in each individual business unit. But for example, if I would create a new role in business unit two, that would then also copy down as an inherited role to business unit six. Now, each user in Dynamics 365 is assigned to one business unit and they cannot be assigned to multiple business units. So now that you understand that, let's just say that David has a security role that gives him access to all account records in his business unit, but he needs to get access to records in business unit two. Can we do this today? Yes, we can. We can actually create a team in business unit two, and then we would assign a security role from business unit two to that team. And lastly, we would add David to that team. So that's how we would resolve that today. Now, I'm sure that you can understand that this can become very complicated very quickly and also very hard to manage. So with the new functionality, there will be no need to create these access teams anymore because we will now have the ability to assign security roles from any business unit to any user. So it doesn't matter which business unit the user is in. Now, if we look at the same example where David needs access to records that belong to users in business unit two, then with this new functionality, we would simply assign a security role from business unit two to David. So you can see that this is gonna be so much easier to manage and to maintain, right? So, all right, now that you understand this, let me go ahead and show you exactly what this looks like inside of Dynamics V65. So what you see here is I'm logged into the Power Platform Admin Center. Then I went to Environments, right? Then I picked my environment. I went to Settings, and then I looked at Users. And you can see here that I just, I was searching for my user, David. And as you can see, he is in Business Unit 3. Now, if we take a look at David's roles, you can see that I have access to the role here that gives me access to business unit only. And if I click here in manage roles, you can see that is the role in business unit three, which is also where David lives. So here I'm logged in as David and you can see that I only have access to account records that are in this business unit and this business unit alone. So now let me go back and assign him a security role from that other business unit. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. So here we are back at David's user record and I'm going to click on manage roles 
And remember we said we wanted to give him access to records in business unit too. So I'm going to select the different business unit here. This is that functionality, right? That allows us record ownership across business units that is in preview. I'm going to say business unit only. I could also select to uh, give him access to parent child records. And if you remember in the slide, we had business unit two and below business unit two, we had business unit six. So I could also give him access to both of those business units by just giving him this parent child role in business unit two. But I'm just going to go again and give him this business unit only role. I'm going to save that and I'm going to go and log back in as David. So here we are and let's refresh this page. And let me see what happens now. Now we have access to records in business unit three, which we already had, but also in business unit two. I just think that this is pretty amazing that we're going to be able to utilize the security roles, no matter where the user is and no matter where that security role is right again this has been something that we have been wanting for such a long time because like i said before having to first create a team then give that team a security role then assign users to that team it just makes it very very complicated and very very hard to maintain so just wanted to show you guys uh, this functionality that is currently in preview and if you're wondering where to enable uh, this preview let me show you that as well so if you are signed in here in the power power platform admin center you would actually go here to settings of the environment that you're looking at and then you're going to click here on product features and then you'll notice it right over here the record ownership across business units and this is where you can turn this on and off um, i would not recommend this for production right you can also see it it says it right below uh, there as well so uh, definitely check this out in your sandboxes not in your production environments I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, don't forget to hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you'll never miss another video again. Thanks again for watching and until next time.